street, Ted, my friend. These students are most excellent. Wild stallions! <laughs> Good morning, students. Welcome to school. Remember, the thought of the day is... Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. Welcome to Neekology. The study of the nerd and geek in their natural habitat. I'm Gary. It's Rudy. I'm Aaron. And we are the knights who say... Neek! Very good. By the way, I'm gonna. we've said this before, but we are going to do an episode on Monty Python, the Holy Grail. And that's where that comes from. So... Uh, people under 30 may not know, but you will know soon why we do that. Okay. Today we're going to be looking at... dealing with a bunch of old people. <laughs> who every, still have comedy. Every day. Yes. Nerds and geeks go back pretty far. So we're looking at the 60s and good stuff. <laughs> so um, today we're going to be looking at movie trailers, and we're looking at one right now, which we'll talk about at the end. Pretty awesome. A lot of... We've had a... Um, we had a glut of movies in the summer. We've had a little dry period, and it's coming back around. So we're going to be looking at some of the movies coming out. Uh, these all do deserve their own episode, which we would love to because Spider-Man. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 they'll have their own episode yes. once uh, once we get closer to it. But I think uh, um, we're just trying to mm -hmm. do all the trailers. Totally yeah, got it. Totally got it. Um, okay, so you know what's interesting? I'm going to start off with. Uh, TV show with Netflix and Stranger Things and keep the music right there anyway Stranger Things did, did we get a trailer for them yes they put a trailer out a uh, few months ago well, but it doesn't what come was, out what was the trailer uh, the trailer showed um, okay the brother um, oh my gosh now I'm terrible on the names on the names from me but um, the older brother uh, the one that's really shy who uh was the brother of um, Will, who got you know abducted, right? He's in a mental institution or something like that. And so he... Um, are we going to watch it? And he... Um, I am, because I haven't, hey, I haven't seen heard it. of it. There it is. And it's very short, but it's very... Um, it's interesting. It's kind of a... Uh, it, there's a lot of odd things going on in that episode. You need to fix your Wi-Fi, Gary. Yeah, Sorry. I told you the password. Slow, man. <laughs> Anyways. We're trying to stream and watch <laughs> videos over here. <laughs> and you're wasting my time. But um, while he's looking that up, um, we did with Stranger Things, great show, came out. Um, and we kind of blasted through the second season, so really, like in a weekend. Never seen an episode. What? I think you would really, I think you might oh, like Stranger it. Things? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. It's a good show. Very different. But uh, the third one's coming out, and definitely a lot of things happening in that little town of Hawkins. There you go, Indiana. But uh, that poor town has had so many things happen to it from the down under and all kinds of stuff. But uh, our boys from the 80s, there's uh, our friend Eleven. Yes, all kinds of things going on with his characters. Um, so she's watching that. <laughs> she's doing her. That's very reminiscent of, uh, what do you call it? Poltergeist. Poltergeist, yeah. So a lot of 80s yeah. references in the show, right? A lot of experimentation going on with uh, all kinds of stuff. So, so where do they leave off in season two? Um, season two, the uh, they actually there's a rift in the down under and mm -hmm. not down under, the upside down, the upside down, and it had to be closed. And so, uh, set, um, eleven helped to do that and almost right. killed her. But at the end, again, uh, yeah, at the end, I know some good guys died. Kids got a little bit of romance in there. Rudy and died. Rudy. Rudy. What's his name? Oh, I'm so lost. Samwise yes, Gamgee. Sam, yes, yes, exactly. That was a sad part. That was very sad. Um, but anyways, yeah, and they, um, so they left off with the school dance, and then they're playing um, Every Step You Take. And it was funny because one of the boys says, you know, that's By a the police? Is it the police? Yeah, he said, yeah. that was kind of a creeper music. And he goes, no, it's not. And when they flipped it upside down, the creature from the upside down was looking down at them from the, you know, so it's kind of like, yes, it is. So we know that it's ongoing, whatever they've opened up. When they did that, I would have wished that um, that the uh, the monsters were having their own prom. They're just and they were just like slow dancing. Who's to say they were? Together. We don't know. <laughs> Every <laughs> step you take. Yes. Just... There you go. And then there's going to be like another <laughs> another monster with a ruler and says, you know. Ah, stop. <laughs> oh, you yeah. leave, 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 leave room for room monster. Room Jesus. We were just... <laughs> We were just talking about yesterday. We had a, a couple outside our window. The kids smooching. And the guy go, go take the ruler. That's what they need right now. You know, they didn't, they didn't they find that very that? They fun. Take a ruler between between you? dances. Yeah, you have to be, be uh, a foot apart. Yeah. Yes. 
I I wouldn't know because and I'm not look from on the Aaron's 60s, face it is priceless. She's like, "What are you kidding?" Now I do. Can't touch the girl. Yeah. No, don't touch it. Okay, so um, anyways, the exactly, exactly. Remember that. Um, so Stranger Things, looking forward to that one. Okay, now he next. <laughs> so December fourteenth, it looks like. Into wait, 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 when's uh, Stranger Things coming out? Uh, I want to say want to say it's January. I think they said it was. You can look real quick. It's usually last time it came out around. Um, the, ha, um, our, and, they, and they both came out in October. Season October, one, season two. yeah. And I think this one got pushed back. And I want to say it was. And now it's. I think it's January. I think it is something like that. What did I say at the end there? But um, there you go. We'll see. Definitely not Stranger Things. That's something totally different. So many crazy movies out there too. It's really hard to pick. We've talked about oh. this picking things that are out there too, but I will find out. Oh, I think it's January. I think it's January. We can I wish look. somebody would turn Citizen Kane into a superhero movie. Citizen Kane. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to watch that for school? Mm-hmm. Rose Bond. Yeah. Well, hey, you Rose know what? Spot. They're recycling things all the time. So who knows? Somebody's you know? gonna do it. It no, might I'm be gonna, you. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it could be you. Are you gonna look or can I uh, jump in? Go for it. All right. My name is Miles Morales, and in my world, I'm the one and only Spider-Man. That is, until he showed up. And it's a no on the cape. I think it's cool. Spider-Man doesn't wear a cape. Uh, All right, you ready? Uh, Out! Hey, guys. Who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another, another dimension. How many more spider people are there? Hey, fellas. Hello. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. My name is Peter Porker. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Miles, where did so, you go? Um, this trailer came out a while back. I thought a lot of fun. Uh, Summer 19. What? Summer? Yeah. Boy, they sure get us. Because it, it, they hook you in. Hey, January is only a month and a half away. I and know. We and we got a teaser trailer already. Yeah. That's so, good. yeah. By the way, uh, I don't know if this is off track, but um, one of the things they've talked about is um, the, we were talking about, you know, when movies get dropped and they seem to drop them in gluts, you know, like this is like the time to watch it. Do you know when the dry periods are, when there's lot, lot, not a lot of movies come out, the way people don't put, post them? The spring. It's... January, February, I think it yeah. is. And you know, if someone is smart, if you could sp get more movie watchers, put those, put more movies in yeah. January, February. Then there'll always be something out there. Well, you get like the the Notebook movies that come out in February. <laughs> yeah, right. Ugh. That's right. We're All gonna do an episode on the Notebook. Book. Right there, you go. <laughs> Please. I'm trying to get a line from that one. Please no. Do. Well, Rachel Adams. Hey, hey if, she's pretty. If awesome. you were talking about doing a George Clooney <laughs> Batman episode, we're gonna do the Notebook. That's a masterpiece. Yeah. And throw cinder blocks in with Shazam. Most There's all kinds of things. Right? Button in there too. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, our podcast would be going in other directions. Um, if you keep it nerdy, you can type it. Well, I put I put Phil in here, and he is a nerd, but that's a whole different thing. Um, okay, so the Spider Verse uh, is it now? It's te technically called. Is it uh, Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse? Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse. I tell you what, that I, I tend to love because I'm visual. I like the different formats, and this is done like a living comic book. Yeah, it's really it's weird. awesome. You it's know, really you, good. You, I think you've uh, seen the trailer, right? There's two of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Oops. people that did Kubo, yeah, are the ones that. Did oh, that's this movie. the I know the company. It's called Lake Lakea, like Lake, Lakea. Oh my, so they're doing this one. Yeah. I love their stuff. If you guys have not seen Kubo, and they've also did, um, oh, they've done a bunch of stuff, but really neat stuff. If you've seen Coraline, that's not the, was that the same company? Yeah. You, I oh, can't, Coraline. they're, they, you know what, next to Pixar, that's probably my favorite company of production, and I love that they tell you how they make it. Um, and Ron, you know what, too? Here's some, uh, if it's not too much off track, but if it's the same company, um, the guy he built the entire movie around that song, uh, uh, "My Guitar Gently Weeps." He built the whole movie around it, and the way the guy thinks is really awesome. Um, but if they're going to do it based on that, like the same, and it's sort of an animation. Th so one of the directors is Peter crazy. Ramsey. He's the one that did um, "Rise of the Guardians." Okay. Uh, and the owl movie. What's that? The owl movie. Or, oh yeah, or... the owl one. No, is that? Oh, that's... No, that's the one with the, uh... the Guardians. With the holiday. Yeah, with the holiday. Oh, there was one, one called Guardians or something. Oh, yeah. Else. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I tell you what, the whole the whole makeup of that movie, um, the comedy, the whole 
like the whole concept of there are alter and I love you guys already know this with time travel. Oh, the other one is alternate realities and possibilities. That's what made um <laughs> that's what made um Night at the Museum too so stinking funny. Yeah. What if you know these people interacted? What would happen? And that's where you're getting you know what if just one little change created mm-hmm. a whole different spot and it would change everybody right. A lot of fun and different characters take on different roles. Yeah. But I think this Spider Man is kind of fun because I'm I'm just seeing in my head the whole two things that were really funny about it. his interaction with his dad and the whole gotta say he love you son just little things like that that make no, that movie fun. I love you, Miles. Yeah, I know, Dad. You gotta say I love you back. Dad, are you serious? I want to hear it. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. That's a copy. You know what they? Uh, <laughs> That's uh, awesome. The production company also made um, the uh, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. meatballs. They did that one too. Yeah, and so they were awesome. so they were connecting. Uh, somebody had connected the two characters of the cop and the son from Cloudy. Oh, where he yes. says, "I love you, son," and he says, yes. "I know this." There's a running and, thing in there. Yeah, and then when you know you flash forward to uh, Enter the Spider Verse, is one he was dropping yes. his on. So it was. That's they're funny. saying that it's the same. The same father. Well, you son. could have that in Kubo too, because they have the father son thing. So there's a theme going on there. He could do I that. Kind of, I find it funny when like the pig's talking, and he's like, "Do animals talk in this universe?" Because I don't want to freak him out. <laughs> <laughs> Which is played by John Mulaney. John Mulaney is one of my all-time favorite comedians right now. I have heard. Oh, John. Oh, that he's got that real dry. Humor. Yeah. Is that him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so John Mulaney, oh, John Mulaney uh, plays oh, uh, Spider Ham. This is getting even better. This is getting even better. So John Mulaney plays Spider Ham, and then you have Nicolas Cage playing uh, Spider Man Noir. Oh, that's fun. So he's got that kind of dark. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like the Batman version. Now who's, of Spy- Spider- who's Peter Parker then? Uh, Peter Parker is that's played somebody. by. Yeah. Um, he's played by somebody. Let's see. Really but this Spider Man is Miles Morales, which we've always been hearing a lot about. He's the young kid, Puerto Rican, right? And uh, if you did see Spider Man with um, our new guy Tom Holland, oh his Jake, uh, Jake Johnson it. does. Uh, Jake Johnson, yeah, he, he's the one that's in the New Girl show. Okay, um, I think that's all I know. Got the kind from. of dry voice. It's yeah, so funny. I guess he was in Jurassic World and The Mummy too. Oh, nice. All right, this is going to be great. I think this will be a lot of fun. Yeah. And so he plays Peter Parker. I, I think Peter Parker is aware of. Thank you. Um, of the uh, multiple universes in in the movie, he, he like senses a, it. He's like a forty year old, isn't he? He's older. Yeah, he's he's an older uh, he's an older part. Out of work. <laughs> yeah, Whatever. but yeah, they're um, like all all the all the characters that you'll see there is in the uh, in the comics with the uh, Spider Man universe. Yeah, yes. Spider Ham, the Noir, Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen's in there. Wait, isn't Aunt Who's May that? one too? No, is it, I thought. Well, in a minute, because she's in there. Does is there one is there one where Aunt May gets bit because Who's they the, have the the with the robot robot oh that's the Japanese one um, nice that is that's really weird Spider yeah there is Spider-Man. it's kind of like a, a big Hero <laughs> Six version of nice. a Spider Man where it is really yeah it's a um, you a know mech. like a like a twelve year old Japanese girl and her robot wow. That's now cool. there's a cluster of them that are together, right? Because they don't show all of them. Because I know in the comics there's a ton of them, right? There's ton. There's yeah. There's um... Penny Parker, I think, is what it is. Penny Parker. Any relation to Peter Parker? I have no idea. What about know. Madame Web? Is that her name? Remember from the old Spider-Man series in the '90s? Mm. I've heard about that too. Yeah. Did she go with the mask. No, no, she's like the well, she's like that lady that sits in the web chair and she holds the Spider-Man universe together. Wow. So she's like the architect in the yeah. Matrix. Ah, oh, gotcha. There you go. Oof. So, um, so I think Kingpin, uh, Kingpin's uh, one of the main villains. Opens in the movie. up their alternate the doorway, right? He, yeah, he creates the collider, uh, which I think the collider is what gave uh, Miles um, his power. Oh, and so he's going through his same uh, same spider. origin issue. Ah. Yeah, and I I think that's that's kind of that's Parker's story, and then everybody uh, else gets their their powers price. in different and ways. Dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the um, wait a minute. So, but they're they're as themselves, not as a spider. No, no, no. But in there, you could see oh, scorpions the in there. Doctor Octopus is in there. Okay, at least yeah. like it's gonna, gonna be, it's gonna reference them at least. It's gonna pack, yeah, pack, and, pack, and pack there's pack and there's different uh, there's different universe versions of them too. Because I think in this one they're doing the Ultimate Goblin. Mm-hmm. 
which he's kind of like a, a Hulk version of the Green Goblin. Wow. They did that with the Scorpion, and this one's an actual like Scorpion hybrid. Too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so there's different versions of Scorpion, Scorpion of, uh, of those villains in there too. Which Interesting. it'll be fun to see uh, the uh, Spider-Man villains because we don't get to see them in yeah. the movies as much and and done as well. It's good. I think the only one that was really done done very well is. Uh, uh, Doctor Octopus and uh, second one, and yeah, in the second and uh, the first trilogy, the second movie. Can, you know what? The lizard was. I hope good. this is not a skew, but I was watching Spider Man through the other day, which some people love, some people didn't. I thought it was great, and one of this there, and because Tobey Maguire really had some, the moment that he had in there where he's talking to Sandman and he says something about I don't, I don't expect you to forgive me. He just lost hair. He just lost his buddy Harry, right? And he's just like, I know you don't expect me to hit me, and told told his story, whatever. And he said, I forgive you. A uh, very powerful moment. Very powerful moments there. Spider Man has so many good there's people intense, moments in there. There's yeah. an intense scene in that movie where have to Harry me. throws one of the goblin bombs and and Peter grabs it with his web and slings it back at him. Oh, yeah, and it blows up in his face. Mm-hmm. And he says that yeah. he walks away because he didn't yeah. care because he's a point. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't care. They were yeah. both in the That's worst intense, state. Yeah. yeah. But it came back around with friendship. It's awesome. Um, okay. Ooh, we keep that keep that one open. That's good stuff. So now, yeah, that one's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. Yeah. If we step back, which I should have done, Fantastic Beast is actually coming out next week, the sixteenth. My sisters, the clock is ticking faster. My dream, we who live for truth, for love. The moment has come to take our rightful place in the world where we wizards were free. Join me. Or die. And our Harry Potter fans, which I love, but I think these guys, uh, Aaron and Ron, really know it well. They are going to have on that, but it looks like a lot of good backstory to... Harry Potter stories, right? Mm-hmm. This is the second one in the Fantastic. Now this is a, now Fantastic Beasts. The first one, it's the Crimes of uh, Grimwald, right? Grimwald, yep. Grimwald, who is the guy that kind of inspired uh, Tom Riddle, who became uh, who we he should is, not mention, right? Well, he's the second most evil wizard to Voldemort. At this time, gotcha. he's the most evil. Gotcha. Well, Voldemort's not around. Voldemort, Harry's not around. No, right? he's not born yet. Gotcha. Is that Johnny Depp's character in that movie? Yep. Yes. Right. With the eye. Yes. Which Johnny Depp, you know, he can pretty much play anybody. <laughs> he did Willy Wonka. Yeah, I think he's already tried. <laughs> yes, he's tried. done everyone. Right, exactly. But uh, looks pretty interesting. And any comments from our the nuts in the Harry Potter world? What do you think? It's gonna look good. Yeah, from an outside perspective, it looks good. Yeah. The people that do the um, Potter cast and Leaky Con had a problem with Depp doing it because of the spousal abuse issues. So there's a lot of people on that camp that really have issues with him playing it. For for what? What issues? Grindelwald for Tom, Johnny Depp playing Grindelwald. Just being involved in the movie itself, right? Yeah, it just yeah. happened to be because oh. it's like, you know, because there's a lot of people there that are... Don't like him. No, just don't like what he does in his personal life with, oh. the, with the beating his wife Maybe situation and all that. Maybe smirching so. the character, kind of. I guess. Yeah. Well, it's that. Well, they just don't want somebody well, like that to be involved in right. a franchise yeah. that they love. Yeah, because there's a lot of women in there and they just don't like well, them. Yeah, and that just goes down to politics anyway. But I think the movie's going to be good. Um, he well, separate the actor from the actor, at the, the character. Frank Sinatra was a yeah. jerk, but everybody loves his music. Yeah. But I yeah. think no, I think no matter what, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's, they all yeah. got they got a great cast. The story goes a bit into detail about Nagini and and that detail, so it, it ties the universe together. Even though we're not seeing you know Harry or. Hermione or anything, but you re- reference things. It references things, and you Hogwarts get a nice, is there. You get a nice background, or yeah. you know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Good to see uh, Newt when he was a kid mm-hmm. going to Hogwarts. Yeah, so a lot of uh, well, and this is set in the nineteen twenties. Twenties, yeah. So got some history going on too, in America, and then they go to. By the way, we're France. oh duh, I was just going to ask my own question. Hogwarts is England, kind of right? Is that where it is? Yes. Uh, int- okay. Anything else on that? So we can move on. Just watching no, our time. That's all good. Um, I tend to be a Pixar fan. Wreck It Ralph uh, looks kind of fun. I think that's going to be interesting. The first movie was great. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, hopefully the second one's good. Second one's going to be very. Uh, Disney has a lot of itself in this. Wake up, Ralph! What is wrong with you? Start churning butter and put on your church shoes, little sister, because we're about to blast off. Ralph. 
What is it you're trying to say? We're going on the internet. What? I spent a lot of time in arcades, and this one, yeah, this one was really, really good. Oh, record and, Yeah, and the, the second one looks pretty good, Pixar's too. are always is, great. Is that the guy, the king, that sounds like uh, the guy from the B-52s? King Candy? Oh, King, but he sounds more like, hey, uh-huh. what is the guy from the, tw- the, the comedian that's going to... I can't think of his name. Oh, yeah. I can't think of his name, but he's very... Oh, look, my duds. It's wreck and Ralph. Yeah? Who are you, the guy that makes the donuts? <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> I'm King Candy. <laughs> I see you're a fan of pink. Salmon. Salmon, that's obviously Sam. What are you doing here? He's based Your on candiness. an old character from, like, the 1940s. I can't think the actor. But he could be, though. He's just got a very... No, it just it, it sounds like he's biting his tongue like the guy from the beef. Hey, Candy. Well, it could be. It could be. He starts singing, too. That's right. <laughs> but it wasn't a rock. <laughs> that's Bob, a, it was a rock lobster. <laughs> that's it. That looks like a... <laughs> yeah, see, that's what it was. <laughs> we King got Candy. King Candy. I gotcha. Exactly. That's who the, is that's gone the guy now? Who, that's the guy who voyced uh, uh, K2SO2. Congratulations. You are being rescued. <laughs> I'm K2SO. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial droid. Oh, that's um, from from yeah. Firefly. And the guy from, uh, yeah, Firefly, Weaselton from... Um, oh, Weaselton from from, uh, from Frozen? Frozen, yeah. Oh, and I, I know his name on top because he's a great actor. I mean, he's so funny. From Firefly, he was the pilot who died yep. of Wolf. The hell? It's okay. I'm going to leave on the wind. What does that mean? Name. I can't think of that man, but he's good. Good stuff, man. Very fun. Yeah, a lot of people get the the voice acting, and and Pixar always does great movies with great messages. I love it. That's that's. That. So so the first movie was a lot of uh, uh, arcade video game references. Yeah, this is the big and, one. And uh, this one, the arcade, um, has Wi-Fi now. Has oh, so the internet. T- time has moved forward. Yeah, time. The the old uh, the old guy that's running the arcade. Well, the. Um, the Wreck It Ralph was in present day time. Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah. He just didn't get. It, he was just, you know, because you know arcades these days, you know, they have kind of the newer cabinets that are, and they still have like the, the you know the new uh, games next to moving things Donkey in Kong, it. yes, or, you know something like that. So that's kind of what it was. And so uh, the arcades now getting internet, and so they're venturing into uh, the internet. So now the references are going to be based on. You know, memes and all the junk that we get from the internet. <laughs> that would blow it up, all right? Yeah. <laughs> blow up the internet. November 21st. Oh, that's that's coming up pretty quick. Got a lot coming and it's already started. But that should be fun. <coughs> should be fun stuff. Uh, okay. Anything else before we talk about Aquaman? I know that's coming out here Ooh, pretty quick, I'm too. excited. It looks good. I'm thinking that's, that's kind of where we are right now. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff that's out there floating around, but... We are going to talk about Aquaman for a minute. We wrap this before we wrap this up. Captain Marvel. Oh, okay. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. Is she coming here pretty quick? When is she within in March? Okay, March. So we have the first official trailer nice. out. Okay. Um, it's a lot of. Uh, uh, I think they're going to do things a little differently as far as the origin story. Yeah. Uh, she she's established already yeah. as um, Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. and uh, just kind of trying to connect the dots into her past. So there's going to be a lot of flashbacks and how. Yeah, the, yeah, flashbacks. Yeah, so so, back, so yeah. they'll connect going back and forth and. Yeah. And how, you know, her life now with the uh, uh, with the Marvel court uh, corpse and the uh, and then her life uh, in Earth, which she had forgotten about. Gotcha. So it wow. it it looks it looks awesome. Looks good. Yeah, I like good stuff. So that's coming, and then just wrap out this year, um, Aquaman, right? Yep. Legend has it that one day a new king will come. Who will use the power of the trident to put Atlantis back together again? This is the exact spot that Volko gave me my first swimming lesson. I already know how to swim. Not even close. 
You have to forget all the teaching of the surface world. Go deeper. One cover your Atlantean instincts. He spent his entire life training. Training to be the best. My parents made me what I am. So we got the original the original looking what? Aquaman suit. What? Yeah, you he got the, the nice orange, orange, yeah, orange with the green pants, looking, uh, green pants, and wow. his trident. Yeah. Looks Wait, awesome. is that what he's upgrading to? Is that's what he moved from? But yeah, he, he <laughs> upgrades to it. I think. I think it was his dad's. Yeah, it was his dad's. Wow. There you go, Ron. Your favorite. Wait, no. What was your favorite? Was your favorite Aquaman or, or Green Lantern? Uh, Would have been his dad or his. My favorite. Dad. Yeah. Was Iron Man. And green dad. Lantern. Oh, okay. Green Lantern was. Someone. It was. It was his mom's. Yeah, it was the yeah, grand, grand, grandfather. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. yeah. Um, very cool. So it looks good. Looks like all the backstory, same character art. Yeah. Kinda. So you have the Ocean Master as the villain. Uh, he's the one that's kind of taken over the reins of uh, King Orm, his brother. Who's Black Manta then? Hmm. Black Manta. So Black like, yeah. Black Manta will probably be working separate uh, from uh, the Ocean Master. Uh, Ocean Master is trying to take. Uh, okay, take you... over the throne of Atlantis. Gotcha. Uh, so Black Manta's dad worked on a ship, I think, and his father uh, died. And and Black Manta has this spitefulness against yeah. Aquaman, blaming yeah. him for not saving his dad. Sure. Yeah. Wow. So there's uh, issues, obviously. Yeah. That old hat. Yeah. <laughs> Hunt for Red October. <laughs> Short. <laughs> Sean Connery in this? I don't think Sean Connery ever said a hunt for Red October, but he <laughs> should have. <laughs> well, certainly. <laughs> There's a, you know who? That's not you know what who? your mother said, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> your Dago Prince. <laughs> Sean? Your greasy hair, Dago. Henry. <laughs> Henry Jones Jr. Um, I love that. Yeah, Sean Connery's great. Wait, is he in this, or are you just saying that? Do we just get it off the... Sorry. Oh yeah, no, he's oh, he's, he's, no, he's no. Sean Connery's gonna be this awesome. <laughs> he's nowhere tied to Aquaman, but would always be tied to a submarine, which uh, connects to okay. Celebrity Jeopardy. Nice, gotcha. Okay, this is six degrees of of uh, Sean Connery. Yeah. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. Which is yeah, totally got. It. Um, wow, so <laughs> this is gonna be good, man. Should be some fun stuff. It'll be good. Hopefully, Aquaman can save the DC universe. Hey, you know, maybe maybe it's gonna happen like this. You know, um, Wonder Woman got chunk. And maybe he's the other anchor, and maybe those two will be. If you have two strong enough characters, maybe the ones are going to make it keep it floating, you know, literally. So yeah, next one will be Aquaman versus Wonder Woman instead of Batman versus Superman. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll just take the only good characters that we have and the Amazon. Hey, wait ride, a minute! Just ride the wind. Now that I think about it, you know, it's funny you say that. In Flashpoint, that's exactly what happened. It was the Atlanteans. A against lot of the, stuff happened in Flashpoint. Atlant, Atlant, Atlanteans uh, versus um, the Amazonians. I think that's what happened too, and that it tore the world apart. I don't know. Are they going that? I guess they got a backup plan. We'll talk about that next. So, but um, sounds good. We're looking at a lot of good trailers coming, but I think we're going to kind of wrap it up here because we've got another cool. Is that one the coming. only ones that we have out? I, I don't guess know. So. I, there's not. Yeah, I mean, there's. I'm sure there's other um, things. That we're looking at things before the end of the year, right? Well, I think. Well, if you love Mary Poppins, that one's coming out too. That looks pretty good. It looks so interesting. Yeah. So there's Second a lot of. Book. Um, yes, the, I don't know nothing about that. I just know what's supposed to round out the year is her. And, well, then actually, wait a minute. Hold a hold presses for a second. Is this correct? Right here on my list. Is Avatar 2 coming around? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mary Poppins is coming out, too. 25th of December. The 2nd of, Dece- oh, second of December is supposed to be Avatar. Uh, Avatar 2, which, how many years have they been working on that one? At least 10. Way too long. Way too long. It's sort of like uh, the end. Uh, it wasn't even that good of a movie. Aww. <laughs> I mean, it's going to get better. This one looks like it's going to be interesting, though. It's multiple planets, I think, too. And then Wonder Woman, the deck got pushed, though, didn't it? Right? This is uh, December. Yeah, Wonder Woman po- uh, pushed out. Okay. So we got at least. Oh, uh, Secret Life of Pets came out, if anybody's interested in that. Ooh, part two. Part two. Uh, See, it's kind of the same is thing. That a straight to DVD situation? No. It's kind <laughs> of the same thing with. Um, the whole Johnny Depp situation. Uh, so you have Louis C.K. that went through the same issues, uh, and so they replaced Louis C.K. with Patton Oswalt, uh, which is a good like, replacement. Oh, Patton yeah, Oswalt's yeah. great. Love that guy. 
Oh, yeah, he's funny. He's the one that ratatied it. Um, oh, The Grinch is coming out this month. Oh, kidoki. Uh, you know what? I, I was thinking when I first saw that, I thought, eh, and then I'm watching more and going, okay, this it's a lot of, it there's a scene. Up. It need to be okay. Yeah, because I actually, if I never see that, I love Jim Carrey, but I've seen that so many times. The cartoon, though, has got to be great, right? Oh, well, this is, up, this is definitely an upgrade from the cartoon, which was cool, and the, the, the yeah, live action. it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's the, the people that did, um, you know, the Lorax. Yeah, and, uh, and the other Dr. Seuss uh, cartoons. This is how Dr. Seuss should be seen, I think. It's uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Dr. <laughs> yeah. Strange does the voice yeah. of uh, yeah. 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 And it, he's a lot more, he's, he's, he's a lot more. Or in this one, he has a lot more going inside his head because he's watching TV, the the figure skating, and mm-hmm. he goes, Doof. and then the play, song they play, he's doing this all in his mind. He has dreams of what he wants to be. It'll be very cartoony. Yeah, but I think it'll be fun. It looked like it's got some good humor. Wait, is it going to be a cartoon or is it going to be a live? Action? No, it's cartoon. It's cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and the animation yeah, like the is pretty good. Cartoon yeah, yeah, that they had. They did a good job. Okay. And I think if they listen to Gary, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you will listen. To me. It's cartoon. The animation's good. Looks like it's fun. So. Uh, Bumblebee. Did we talk about Bumblebee? We did. Don't tell me uh, that's coming up for the end of the year, too. Did I miss that one? Uh, Bumblebee, I think, uh, Bumblebee. comes out next year. Okay, so we're... No, we'll yeah, have, we're all we'll right. have to pick those up. Yeah, we'll pick them up. But um, lots of lots of movies coming out, and uh, we're excited. It's like some fun uh, stuff. Oh, the uh, trailer for The Witcher came out. The um, Witcher? The, the Witcher. Witcher. What's The Witcher? Which it's Witcher? A, it's an intense video game. Oh, I love it. Oh. One of my favorite ones. Is that what we're talking about? Uh, Henry Cavill. Is, uh, is yeah, it's where, it's where he went off to after. Ah, yeah. that's coming up. Off to, off to greener pastures. Wow. Maybe. Well, some good stuff, man. Lots Oh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, the Broly uh, movie. Is it a cartoon? Uh, no, Wait, it's a Dragon Japanese Ball Z? anime. Oh, Dragon Ball Z is finally coming out. Wow. Yeah, so Dragon Ball Z... Um, uh, they, the uh, there was original bro, uh, Broly uh, cartoon, but it, uh, it wasn't done by uh, the creator. It was... Um, it was kind of an offshoot, separate, uh, separate storyline. Is it the live action one that you're talking about? No, oh, no we we don't speak of that one. <laughs> and um, so they're coming out with a different storyline for Broly. Um, uh, I think uh, it has it's kind of focused on Frieza, and uh, and and how uh, how he's he destroyed the Saiyans. So. I think I think he's going to be kind of an ongoing character in that Dragon Ball Z universe. So we'll see. That one's that one's kind of uh, one that everybody's been waiting for too. I'm a little scared. Aaron's having too much fun with that. Okay, you know what that does, right? And I'm glad you can't snap your fingers. Yeah, it's the Infinity Gauntlet. You know? He's wearing the Infinity Gauntlet right now, the non-snappable one. Thank the Lord. Dang it! <laughs> Dang Darn it. it! I want to bring everybody back. I don't think I think it take the other half out if you mess with it too much. But well, I think that's it. That's yeah. it. Oh, nice. But that's not what it, they had a Home Alone thing. <laughs> you got to love the internet. It gives you so much stuff, and then you hate it because it gives you so much stuff. But uh, we're looking forward to it. A lot of good movies. And uh, as far as I know, I'm still Gary. Still Rudy. Still Aaron. And class is dismissed. Go watch some good movies, people. Bye. Let's take a look at the scores. Sean Connery has set a new Jeopardy record with negative $230,000. You think you're pretty smart, don't you, Trebek? What with your dago mustache and your greasy hair? Look, what did I just say about ethnic slurs? (laughs) What? You look like Mary Poppins. Is he cool? Hell yeah, he's cool. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Hey, thanks for joining a class at Neekology 101. You can always find us on Podbean, which you can download for free through the iTunes, Android, and Google stores. Or we're now on Spotify. And guess what? We're also on YouTube. Be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date on all our new episodes. 
If you want to learn about God Among Geeks and what we do here, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also check us out on our blog at GodAmongGeeks316.com. And please feel free to email us at forebearproductions at gmail.com. We love to hear your thoughts because we are the knights who say, Nick! <laughs>